Hey, what's up you guys? This is me Nishant and I was checking out the latest Microsoft build that was leaked earlier and it's the Windows 10 build 9901. It's not an official build and there's no way I'll recommend anyone installing this build because it's a lot lot more buggier than the last official build that was build 9987 nine, something I don't remember. Anyways, so I found a couple of bugs that I thought I might as well report to you guys. So let's go ahead and check them out. So yeah, apparently none of the Metro, um, I mean modern apps are working. As you launch them, um, all the apps get stuck at the splash screen. I mean they work, but not right away. For instance, I just launched Windows Store here. Yeah, get this nicely here. And I launched settings. I'm going to launch uh, here, yeah, news. Um, I'm also going to launch people. All right. I'm going to launch calculator yep there it is and as you can see none of these apps are working they are just stuck at their splash screen now in order to get them to work you'll have to change first create a virtual desktop and then change them I don't know why is it why I have to do this and it doesn't make any sense but since it's a buggy build and we all prepared for this so let's go ahead yeah I've already created a new virtual desktop if not you can and as you can see all of these apps are now working calculator news and media um, settings people and store now suppose I close the settings and store and I don't have any virtual desktop created yet so it's okay now if I launch store and settings they will still stuck so every time when you launch a modern app in this build you'll have to change virtual desktop or at least just hover over it as soon as you get back you'll find that yes all of your apps are working now so a bit annoying but yeah that's that's the only way i found it and there's this one more thing i'd like to show you guys a lot of apps that require dotnet framework 3.5 uh, pretty much anything below 4 3.5 3.0 2.5 it won't work so all the applications requiring this particular dotnet framework feature 3.5 will also not work the reason is simple you can't upgrade to anywhere since the app was not intended for a public release so microsoft it, it was not originally intended for microsoft's own employee or alpha testers as i would say not beta testers like us guys so yeah if you try to install it as it as you can see it's an offline if you try to install it it will say you need to download this feature and as soon as you click on download it will fail it will fail on you yeah it will give you this error code and say check if you are connected to the internet or not or something and as you can see internet is connected but it won't work so 
none of the apps that require this feature will work and other than that this app is pretty much great these animations like them so this is for it this is for now you guys and hey check this out hey Kutana set an alarm Yep, apparently Cortana can't find an email when I asked her to set alarm. <laughs> it's just starting to work and for now in this build you can only hear her voice. So much so for a build but I guess by 21st of Jan next next month we'll, we'll all be ready to check this build. Check the first consumer preview out as you can see. So this is for it, this is for now you guys and this is me Nishant, if you have any feelings about the video, comment down there, take care.